what is up everybody this is Ankit from Codit and this video we are going to be creating this nice hover effect using pure HTML and CSS so let's get started so to get started first of all we will create a UL with the class of list and here inside this list we will have four allies with class um, four allies with class of list item or maybe just item and we'll have four four list items inside every item we'll have an anchor tag with the class of link like this and now in every href I'll add hashtag and now after this I'll write home and in the second one it may be about us third one will be our team and at last contact us contact us like this now we have we have written all the HTMLs that were required in in this project now we'll move on to CSS and in the CSS first of all I'll give some basic stylings to my universal operator as well as to my pseudo elements and now I'll add padding of zero margin of zero box using border box inside that I'll have body I'll grab on the body I'll give them height of 100 VH width of 100% and now I'll also add display flex, justify content center and align items center. And what these three lines will do is just it will align every direct child element to the very center of, of itself and I've grabbed on the body so it will now center everything in it will now center everything in the very middle of the page. Now I'll grab on the list and inside this list I'll add display flex. And what this will do is it will just align every direct child element horizontally as it as it has done now. And now I'll remove the bullet bullets points for that I'll add list style none. And it will remove the bullets po bullet points. And now I'll grab on the item. And item I'll give the first the font size and it would be 2 rem. Font family. Font family it would be poppins. Sans serif. Um, here. Sans serif and I have already uploaded poppins in my code pen and if you want to get the source code the link is down below in the description you can go below and find the link of this pen now after this I'll add margin and margin would be what is this okay margin would be from top and bottom I want 0 from left and uh, right I want 1m like this and now I'll grab on the link and the link and before that I'll add background to my body I forgot that 1 2 1 2 1 2 like this and now here to my link I'll add color of f7 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 and now text decoration none good so this was the styling that we need to do that we need to do before creating the effect now what we'll do is we'll make use of the pseudo elements so first of all we'll grab on the before and in this before I'll add content and that, that, and that is blank in this case now I'll add position absolute position absolute and since I'm giving position to this element to this parent element to this link I'll have to add position and in this case I would like to give it relative okay and now here I'll give top 0 left 0 width 100% height 2 pixels background the same fsn 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 and hope you understand this all code this is very simple code I have given top left 0 and 0 width would be 100 pixels and height is 2 pixels oh sorry width is 100% and height is 2 pixels and I will also and I have also given the background and this is like this and to my link what I want is I also want to give padding and from top and bottom I want 7 pixels from left and right I want 0 so it will be shifted to up because I have, we have given top to 0 now I will copy the same and I will paste it here and instead of this before I will write after and instead of this top I will add bottom like this now we have this now but this is the stage when when we uh, we want this when we hover on any of the links so right now what we want is we want the width to be zero we'll give width to be zero but before that i want the left it is now zero i want it to be 50 percent and now it will be shifted to 50 percent from the left 
and now I want it to be zero. Oh, I want it to be zero like this. So now the the lines are at fifty percent from the left, and that we can call at the very middle. And now they are, they have the width of zero. Now, whenever I hover on the link, I want the before as well as whenever I hover on the link, I want the after to get a width of hundred percent. And as well as I want left of zero, like this. And I will also add transition here. Transition, and it is all 250 milliseconds is and out, like this. And now let's see if that works. Boom, it works. So yes, we have completed our project. And the source code source code is linked down below in the description. And if you want me to cover any specific topics in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can comment down below in the comment section and if you did like the video hit that like button down below make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the instant notification of our latest videos thank you for watching